Hello everybody and welcome to Uprising 144K. I'm Hydrogen Man. Before I begin, I am not giving you any medical advice. I'm not making any medical claims. And with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and get started. This is really cool because, you know, I support companies that I personally have found to be the best. I mean, I'm literally was just looking for the best when I was obviously sick and trying to find my way in this whole difficulty of trying to figure out how to heal my body because... Uh, there's a lot of garbage out there, I hate to say it, but there is. Water, to me, I've discovered is a huge part of getting healthy. And this company sent me this, this was really cool, third-part laboratory testing. A lot of crazy, amazing info in here, but I was able to find it on their website. So I'm gonna share it with you guys today. If you wanna check it out, go to mypurewater.com. And if you wanna get a coupon or a discount on anything that they're selling there, you're welcome to use a coupon code that I worked hard to get for you guys, which is the same name as my YouTube channel, which is Uprising144K. But why is this important? I gotta share this with you guys. If you think that every single water filtration system out there or every water filtration modality is the same, you are greatly mistaken. And I'm gonna show you today why. So I highly recommend watching this whole video because there's a lot of important information here. And I'll also tell you, I was thinking about making another video about different gases um, as far as what they can be used for to benefit your health potentially. And we're talking about things like ozone, oxygen, hydrogen, even Brown's gas and things like uh, helium, for example. So if you guys want me to make that video, just comment below because I wasn't sure if you guys would be interested in that. And I think it might be important. So just remember, never use any chemicals when making any gas. And so the biggest one I've seen is the Brown's gas people, they use lye to make it. That is a huge mistake and uh, and terrible, but we'll, we'll talk about that more in another video if you guys want. Now, let's talk about purity of water. In fact, I love what they wrote here, so I'm going to read it for you guys. For decades, we have worked diligently to produce the best water distillers. If you think every distiller is the same, guys, it, it's not. Um, just like hydrogen machines, though I would say in the world of hydrogen, there's a huge gap. There's a lot of crap out there. I mean, I literally just gave you one example of companies that will use lye to make, you know, a hydrogen. That's not a pure hydrogen. It's a Brown's gas, but regardless, never use chemicals to make hydrogen. And the quality of distillers matters also. It's the reason that I chose this company. Their distillers are a little bit more, but you'll find out why it says, we, con we, con uh, we constantly strive to improve quality of life by improving quality of water for our customers. We've helped countless families around the world, blah, 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 get you know clean water, but it says, we've seen firsthand the life-changing effects of avoiding waterborne toxins and contaminants. See, this is preventative care, guys. You wanna prevent before you get sick, and if you are trying to get better, this is still a good way to go anyway. And we are committed, it says, to ensuring you, your families, and your businesses have fresh distilled water for years to come. Okay, so then they say, why third-party testing? I think everybody knows why third-party testing. I will say, that I've seen companies do their own lab testing. And it's actually, a lot of companies are very honest about it, but I have seen some companies be very dishonest with their supposed lab testing. And the only ones that I've seen, I, I hate to bring this up again, but is is the Brown's gas companies. Um, I don't trust their, their testing because I know what their stuff does. But in this case, they went third party just so that they could ensure that there was no bias. Um, over the years, this is very important, check this out. Over the years, as we got test results back, we have tweaked our designs to ensure ever better quality. So see that, they probably saw something that their distillers could improve on. And that's something that I appreciate when somebody's always trying to do the best. This is another reason I like a lot of Japanese companies and products because they're so almost obsessive with just improvement and improvement. And this company seems to be the best uh, they do the same thing to be the best and I personally really appreciate that every detail as it says right here is optimized From using high-grade USA stainless steel now that right there is a big deal believe it or not back to the metal quality It's much more important in the world of hydrogen, but it's also important in the world of distillation uh, to sourcing the best activated carbon for our sewn not glued, so they never glue it. Sewn filters, this is, enough. again, another important factor that people don't talk about, and this is for their mini classic. Every component is carefully chosen because you deserve only the best. And see, this is why I chose this company, because they have, uh, that's what I found. Um, let's go ahead and see some of the results, because this is huge, guys. Let's talk about biological contaminants. This is really a big deal. Microbiological contaminants are a group of living organisms. Guys, I cannot emphasize this enough. No water filtration system out there will get all your biological contaminants out, except, in my opinion, this these type of systems. Why? Well, these are contaminants. 
that can clearly cause illness to humans, that consume drinking water containing these contaminants. What are we basically talking about, guys? I'm just going to put it in a nutshell. We're basically talking about parasites. We're talking about viruses. You know, we're talking about bacteria. Um, you know, these are the types of things. Well, right here, yeah, bacteria, viruses, you know, th these are the types of things that I'm talking about. Even spores. Um, look at this, 99.9% .9 removal. You're not, none detected. This is as good as it gets. This is huge. No, nobody ever thinks about this. With water filters, your filters get all mucked up with this crap. And it literally just sometimes makes the water worse after time because filters get dirty so quickly. Literally after 50 gallons or 100 gallons and they tell you to change it every 5,000 gallons. It's just not enough, in my opinion. I'm being really kind of finicky and strict here, but this is, again, you got to get strict if you want to heal your body. That's my opinion. All right. Um, removal of spores, blah, 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 bacteria, again, parasites, all this stuff. Obviously great results. Okay. Let's go to the next one. Removal of inorganic contaminants. So what are inorganic contaminants? Well, we're talking about things like heavy metals, chemicals, compounds, which do not incorporate a carbon atom in their molecular structure. Now, while relatively few in number, some inorganic contaminants have a high toxicity and can be found in many water supplies. And you better believe it, guys. I would say this is almost in everybody's water. The most toxic inorganic contaminants, such as lead, are regulated. But, you know, when they regulate them, they say things like, well, this number's safe enough, you know, and I don't, I'm not into that. You know why? Because there's a comp, it's like compounding. If you get a little bit from your water, or a little bit from your food, all of a sudden you're in dangerous levels. Whereas if it was just the water, they're like, oh, you're safe. I just don't trust it. I don't buy it. I will clean my water, thank you very much. I don't trust bottled water from the store and they definitely are not distilling it. You can buy distilled water from the store but I still don't quite trust it. So it's it would be the best you can do but I would just buy one of these systems and to be honest, you'll get all your money back probably within six months or so because it it's so cheap. I think it's like two to three pennies to make one gallon when you have your own system so it saves you a lot of money. Now you can see all these things like arsenic, barium, boron, uh, boron blah, 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 chlorides. You can just see right here, 99.9%, .9%, it eliminates it all. Now here, this one was 98.9. I mean, that's pretty darn good, and we're talking about calcium there. Um, this is going to be the best you can get, though. I mean, I doubt you're going to find anything better. Look at this one, fluoride. Every love, everybody loves to get their fluoride out of the water. 99.9, .9, guys. No spell, special filters needed, none of that garbage. And when you distill and use the power of nature, you don't have to worry about it getting like a dirty filter. You have the little carbon filter at the end. But you don't have to worry because just the process of distillation works the same every single time. The hardness of the water, 99.12, so almost everything. I think that's actually a really, really great magnesium. Same thing, 99.8. It did. It does remove a lot of the minerals. You don't know which ones are good, which ones aren't. Uh, but this is why I recommend remineralizing your water or just having a lot of fruits and vegetables which have a lot of minerals. I'll put a link down below for the product I personally recommend. But if you want to just see the video I did on that, you can literally go to YouTube and type in how to mineralize distilled water. Um, looks like it got pretty much most of the sodium out of the water. So they did a great job. Look, 99.9%, .9%, pretty much 100% on most things. Now, this is the shocker, guys. Check it out. Radioactive contaminants. Are you kidding me? Are you telling me that this system can remove radioactive contaminants? Well, you better believe it, guys. Radioactive contaminants. All right, things like plutonium, uranium, you know, all these crazy things. Let's just keep going here. Um, many people don't realize these contaminants do not just come from countries that are dumping radioactive waste. Some radioactive contaminants, like uranium, often contaminate water naturally. So there you go. You can obviously want to be cautious with this, but look at the results. 99%, 99.8% from the uranium, uh, cesium, cesium, not sure exactly how that's pronounced. But I will tell you this, these are only the ones that they're, that we know of. I bet you, I still believe strongly that there's things in our water that are not even on this list, which is massive. And probably one of the biggest ones is pharmaceuticals. Before I go on to this next one, I will tell you, I knew somebody who used to lab test water all over the place around the nation. He found three pharmaceuticals that were always in the water at extremely high levels. So that means that there were other ones that were at low levels, but in really high levels, he always saw women's contraception. He saw antidepressants and antibiotics. Man, that's gonna mess you up, guys, because it, it affects your gut, it affects your hormones, and it's gonna affect your health in my opinion, right? So again, not medical advice, think for yourselves, think what you want. But let me tell you one other thing. There's been a bunch of towns lately in China where everybody's getting cancer. They couldn't figure out why everybody was getting cancer in these towns. They finally figured it out. Guess what it was? 
their water. So this is how important water is. I just can't emphasize it enough. And then you pair it with something magical like hydrogen, and you know what I think about that. Clearly, I'm the hydrogen man, and it's for a reason. <laughs> All right, let's move on to the next one. Removal of organic contaminants. Why do I want to remove them? They're organic. Well, let's just see what they really mean, right? Organic compounds contain a carbon atom in their, in their chemical structure. So this group consists of, let's just go, um, many are derived from the petrochemical industry. Yoo-hoo, what a surprise. Um, these things include cleaners, herbicides, pesticides, um, wastes from in certain industrial processes. All right, wonderful, right? Not really, but can we get it out of the water? Because herbicide and pesticide contamination is such a common concern. So literally, guys, this is common. And if it's common, you may think, oh, I got well water. I'm safe. No, I've known people who've had well water and their water is tested even worse than municipal water, which is really weird. And they've grouped all these into um, separate charts. We'll see why in a second. But let's just go into this. Here's one of the ones I've been talking about a lot. PFAS. Did it get it out? You better believe it. 99.9, guys. This is why I love my clean water machine. Look at this. 99.9, 99.9. I mean, just down the list. I literally just be saying 100% all day long. And all these chemicals, whether you can pronounce them or not. And you know what? I don't even care if I can pronounce them or not. I just don't want them in, you know, maybe you can make you seem smart and I could try to appear smart to you guys. But honestly, I just don't want them in my water. That's what I want. I want pure, clean water. Is that too much to ask? Apparently, sometimes it is. You know what shocks me is how many people I talk to and they're like, yeah, you know, I'll save for this or I'll think about it. Maybe in a couple of years, I'm thinking... Do you have any idea what you're putting in your water on a daily, or in your body on a daily basis? Look at this stuff. I mean, we know this stuff's highly toxic for the body. I can't believe anybody would even think about it. I, I'm actually a germaphobe. I, I don't even like putting water in my mouth that I know is not clean. And it's just important. The body is the temple, guys. And I'll tell you one thing. While I'm in this body, I want to treat it right because I want it to treat me right. Um, yeah, 99.9%. It just goes on and on. I mean, look at, I mean, and that's just the stuff that's in this test, in, in, you know, in these tests. I'm telling you, there's stuff in the water that we don't even test for. But the power of nature, it does the same thing. It distills the water. It all starts with hydrogen, the sun. All right, next one, removal of herbicides and pesticides. So any chemical in the category that ends with the word side. So pesticide, herbicide, insecticide, fungicide. Now guys, these are chemicals that are specifically designed to kill things. Now think about that for a second. Intentionally designed to be toxic. So think about that. Every time you try to spray your weeds, you know, kill some insects, mites, other bugs, do you really not think this stuff's gonna get in your water? I mean, really, let's just be honest about it. It's gonna happen. Many of these chemicals are heavily regulated. These, these things are regulated. Do you think they're in the water? They sure are, because they're testing it. <laughs> and look at this. Removal, 99.9%, 99.9%. I mean, it just goes on and on. I mean, do any of these look, you know, familiar to you? I know glyphosate to me does. Look at that. Eliminates all glyphosate. Now, look, this is just to get clean water. Remember, to bring healing to the body, first you want to prevent it. If you've already been exposed to this, you need to start with clean water. I always tell that to everybody. Start with clean water, then bring in the hydrogen, the healing, you know, the, the way that it can possibly remove this stuff out of your body, neutralize the free radical damage that these things cause. I mean, it's so basic. And literally, you probably go to any doctor and not one doctor would say, well, you know, you might want to clean your water. <laughs> like, they'll never tell you that. They won't even tell you, hey, you might want to use some hydrogen. They don't even know what hydrogen probably is. They probably never even heard of it. I meet very few doctors. So ultimately, guys, that's it. I just wanted to share this with you. You know, don't forget to share. Don't forget to support the channel either. This is important, guys, especially this day and age with everybody getting sick and needing your immune system to be strong with everything that we're going through lately. Do yourself a favor, you know, treat yourself right and uh, get some clean water. Does it have to be this distillation company? It doesn't, but you know, this is my favorite one. And th they are a little more expensive. I would say they're maybe a couple hundred bucks more than a lot of cheap ones. But let me tell you what I've noticed. I've noticed that the cheap ones break. They break after a year or two, sometimes three. These ones, man, these things could literally last a lifetime. All you gotta do is take care of them, clean them, and yeah, that's it. And, and they're very inexpensive to run. Uh, a lot of people you know, think that they're expensive to run. They do get hot, which actually is funny because I use it to literally heat up the room during the winter time. And I absolutely love my clean water and it's, it's worth the price tag for me. Uh, if it's worth it to you, I don't know, but it's worth it to me and I've obviously been uh, become kind of an expert in water and I just wanted to share with this with you guys. So thanks for watching and let me know again if you want me to make a video about these other medical, uh, possible medical uses for 
um, these different gases that I spoke of earlier. So comment below on that. And again, thanks for sharing and everything, guys. And I'll see you guys next time on the next one.